Hello guys, I'm Foxy. Today I'm going to show you how to make a chisel in a township tail. There are two things you need to make a chisel. A chisel head and a handle. It doesn't matter what you start with. We'll go with the handle here in the carpentry workshop. A recipe in this book will tell us what we need. Let's find the handle we need. It's on the sixth page. This means six lock wedges. Some items require more, 12 or 18. Where do you find wood? You may chop trees. Find log wedges in chests, community boxes, or in the orbs throughout the town. We tear the page off and put it on the chisel deck. Now pull the chisel deck handle to the wall. We need just the usual wood, it's oak. Here it is. We take six log wedges. Take one piece of wood at a time and place it anywhere on the table until there are six of them. We need a hammer and a chisel, flint in this case. Now we start woodworking. Place the flint on any part of the blue wall and hit it with the hammer. We hear this sound if it's right. Hit until the blue part breaks and move to another piece. To access the lower part better, pull the lever. Be accurate and not hit other parts or it'll break and you'll have to redo everything. When there is no glow left, you do the same in no particular order. And now it's almost finished. Some of heats. And ta-da! Now we have a handle. We don't leave the tools laying around. Put them on the shelf. Let's go to the smithy now to make a chisel head. Here we are! These are the mold racks where you can find different blacksmith molds. Use the rope to see more pieces. Here it is, the chisel head we need. Let's read it. The first is a visual of the product. And the second is how many ingots of the metal are required. We need two ingots. We will use iron as the first strong metal available to a new player. Where do you find it? Iron ore can be obtained by mining iron veins in the mines. And also by killing fearsome turbadas. Iron ore and ingots can also be either in the orbs throughout the town or found in community boxes. The number on the top is how many pieces are in the box. The one below is how many you may take right now. Need more? Come back the next in game day. Three iron ore can be smelted to get one iron ingot. So we will take six iron ore and make two iron ingots. Firstly, we check if there is enough fuel. Usually there is. If no, check the community boxes near the smithy. Otherwise, coal can be obtained by mining in the quarry, mines or forest. Or you can chop some trees to get log wedges. Now back to the smelting. At the smithy, we go to the furnace, open this hatch, put all the ore needed, close. When the fire sign is white, it means it's working. If not, check up here. Someone may have left the metal. Then pull the lever and they will go here. Let's go to the other side of the smeltery and see if it's ready. When you do much more ingots, you may use bellows to make it work faster. But it's not required now, they are already done. You grab and hold to take all the ingots at once. Now let's take the blacksmith mold we need. We place it on the smeltery, take our ingots, put them in, close and wait. Ta-da! The chisel head is ready. Now we need to forge it. Don't leave the mess, put the mold back. The forge is located at the front of the smithy and is next to the anvil. Put the chisel head close to the center and wait until it's heated. Then we take it and put it on the anvil. Big durable hammers are better for forging, but you can also do it with the usual one. I prefer to hold both items in my hands. Now you hit the chisel head quite hard in different parts, until you see these white circles. Now either just wait for it to cool off or put it in the water. The final part. Grab your handle with one hand and the chisel head with another. You see the glow, you may craft them together. Place them close and turn until you see the blue glow and the release the head. Ta-da! The chisel is ready! That's all I wanted to show you today. If the video was helpful, please press like and subscribe. You can find more videos about a township tale on my channel. Anything to add or ask, welcome to the comments. Thank you for watching! Bye!